Five months later, you stood outside the hospital, tears streaming in your eyes, not being able to believe it. Beside you stood your brother, Shoto, Hokari, Rin, Aoi's parents, your parents, Rin's parents, and Hokari's parents. Something brisk in the October autumn air. Today, October 18th, 2022, Aoi would be released from the hospital. He had successfully beaten his cancer. Today was a happy day. Nothing could take this away from any of you. No drama between friends and brothers. It was all about Aoi, the strongest one out of all of you. Within the last four months, Aoi had undergone surgery after surgery. He was doing chemo and taking tests to make sure he was up to date on all his antibiotics. Finally, his parents had gotten the message. After crucial months, thinking that one day Aoi might not be alive the next time they went to go check on him. They were told that he would live, the doctor said, 10 or more years, but you would be right by his side the rest of his life, just like you knew Hakari and Rin would be. Shoto gripped your hand as Aoi was pushed outside in his wheelchair, the blue and pink stickers you had given him decorating the entire thing. You laughed. It looked horrible. He rolled up in front of you three. You let go of Shoto's hand and hugged the death out of him. Hakari joined in not too long after, Rin right behind him. Guys, Aoi chuckled. Are you gonna try to put me back in that hospital? Hakari moved back and glared. Too soon, dude. I'm the one that's supposed to say that. Aoi smiled his stupid pretty boy smile. He left us for a while, Rin muttered. Yeah, we missed you. Hakari rubbed his cheek against Aoi's. I didn't think you'd remember us when you got out. You visited me every day, you maniac. I can never forget how annoying you are, he said, pulling away. Aw, oh, stop being such a soon today. It's not as cute as you think it is. He boobed his nose, making Aoi scowl. Hey, I was promised ice cream. Hatsuki's voice made you scowl, too. You whirled around, catching the exact moment. Rin pulled him in by his sleeve, murmuring something. Your brother blushed and sighed, responding under his breath. You hadn't really talked to Rin in the five months since your fight. Katsuki continued to see Rin. You continued to see Shoto. You just never spoke about them. You were hoping that one day it could be changed, that you all could be friends. But you didn't know if five months was enough space for you and everyone else involved, and you certainly didn't want to be the one to bring it up. You never asked Shoto what he talked about with Katsuki when they had left, nor had you ever asked Katsuki about it, but you didn't need to know what had been said, because whenever Shoto came over or you went out with him, your brother kept his mouth shut. You knew whenever Rin was over, because Katsuki's door would be shut with a sign that said, knock first on it. There would also be a plate missing from the cabinet, and when Katsuki came down to wash dishes, there would be two in his hand. But, like him, you kept quiet. You only saw Rin when you had to, like at school. You refused to eat with him, and Hikari had been torn. So, to be fair, each day he would switch off. One day, eating lunch with you in the classroom, and the next would be out in the quad or in the library with Rin. You were sure Hikari told Rin about everything, whether he was conscious or not. You visited Aoi as much as possible while simultaneously doing your best to avoid bumping into Rin. Aoi never asked you anything, and you assumed it was because Hikari said something like, They need to figure it out. Let's not get involved. They act like such an old married couple sometimes, honestly. Everyone got into their respective cars. Shoto rode with your parents, while you and Hakari and Rin piled into Aoi's car after his parents reassured everyone else's parents it would be fine. Hakari and Aoi sat in between you and Rin, making sure to fill the awkward silence you two brought with much needed sarcastic wit. The car came to a stop. You all waited patiently as Aoi's chair was lifted out of the trunk, 
and Hokari helped him into it. Shoto followed Katsuki and your parents into the shop. Hokari's parents and Rin's parents walked inside not too long after. Aoi's parents walked in with the four of you. You should try a different flavor this time, you said, noticing Aoi's stare at the classic mint chocolate chip. I think my usual is fine. Hakari rolled his eyes. You are such a baby. I'm always trying new flavors, even before, and you never once budged. You should live a little. Aoi smiled and motioned down. I'm trying. Hikari's face soured. You burst into a laugh, loving this moment. Your friends looked at you, but the giggles kept coming. You had to use your knees for support, and soon Hikari was erupting into laughter too. Aoi chuckled a little, and Rin smiled. You hated that. You hated taking a moment like this away from him just because you were mad. But you weren't. Not really. Not anymore. Something like that just seemed so trivial now. You were ready to end it, but the thought of doing so made you cringe. You would have to find him, get him alone, and do it in private. It would be the only way you could get through it without wanting to throw up. Favorite flavor, you shouted. Rocky Road, please. Rin called. Is that a new flavor? Halkari eyed the gold sticker on the glass. Next to it, red grape soda. Sounds good. He grinned because only Hikari would find Aoi trying not to puke amusing. Aoi couldn't stand the smell of putrid things, like most people, but his nose was keener and therefore made it harder for him to keep down his food, although it was usually never activated by anything from shops or school, this ice cream was a different kind of disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Aoi made a hurling sound, covering his nose. Come on, just try it. Hakari was shoving it closer. Get that thing away from me. It doesn't smell that bad. Rin reasoned, it doesn't smell that bad? You whipped out your phone and snagged a photo of this marvelous moment. In the background, Hakari was leaning over at Rin, who looked like he'd much rather prefer his personal space back. Rin was laughing at them, and you thought it was just the perfect moment. Say cheese. Your phone snapped the photo right as everyone looked up. They didn't even have time to change positions, otherwise it would have come out blurry. You looked down at the photo, smiling at Aoi's arms tangled in Hakari's to keep away the grape soda ice cream, and Rin's calm, delicate smile. That somehow captured your brooding brother's attention. Let me see it, Hakari was saying, reaching over Aoi toward you. You handed the phone to him and looked over your shoulder. Shoto was sitting next to Katsuki, across from your parents, and Aoi's and Hikari's and Rin's too. They were all having a deep conversation about something. Shoto's eyes flitted around for a split second before they caught yours. You turned away, immediately embarrassed to be caught, but then looked back over because he was your boyfriend, and you had the right to stare. His smile took your breath away, and with a sudden, you realized your mouth was slightly ajar. It was amazing, the things he could do to you without even trying. His hands came up with a camera-like pose. He winked his right eye while bringing... <laughs> he winked his right eye while bringing down his two pointer fingers and pretended to take a photograph of you. You rolled your eyes, but the thought of the photo you had taken on that first date slash hangout with him, Todoroki Shoto, you photogenic devil. Because he was your brother's boyfriend, and you ha- <laughs> Lol F and chat. Hello everyone, I'm going to read my author's note because why not? So I said, hello everyone, my name is Anna. If you've gotten this far, I would just like to thank you personally for reading my story. It has been a good time for me and I am proud to have started and finished this during the summer of 2022, which I would call summer 16 because I'm 16 this year. Wow, time does fly, right? Anyway, thank you again and I hope you enjoyed my story. Photograph. 
that was the cringiest thing i've ever read you guys okay but yeah like like i wrote i hope you enjoyed the story um i forgot who originally no i think like i just like i was thinking about it one time and i was it was just an idea and i was like oh what like wouldn't it be cool if i like made a katsuki's little brother x shoto Todoroki because like um, I don't know, I just, I just was thinking about it, because, like, I thought, like, the, um, ideal and the romance, like, it would just be, like, on par, and so I was thinking about it, listening to songs, and all, and I just kept thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, let me, let me see what, like, what everyone thinks, and you guys like the idea, so I wrote it, I made it an actual thing. Yeah, I rambled a lot, I'm so sorry, but, okay, anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.